I'm here to be silent no more about the worst sin that I ever committed in my life. When I was 16 years old, I met Steven Tyler, the lead singer of the rock group Aerosmith and former American Idol judge at a concert in Portland, Oregon. And we began a three-year relationship that ended in a horrific late-term sailing abortion. I want you to know that with all my heart, I regret my abortion. I want Stephen also expressed his regret for my abortion with the words, Jesus, what have I done? Abortion is a choice that leaves a trail of victims. It takes the life of an innocent baby and it leaves mothers and fathers wounded and grieving for the lost child. When I moved to Boston to live with Stephen, I was just 16 years old. I was underage and he became my legal guardian so that I could live with him. When Stephen asked me if I would have his child, I said yes. I wanted a baby and I thought he must truly love me if he asked me to have his child. About a year later, I became pregnant and Stephen asked me to marry him. I was thrilled. I thought my life could not get any better than this. I was going to marry a man that I idolized and we were going to start a family together. But Stephen had a change of heart. He let me know that we would not marry. And he made the next went on tour, leaving me behind in our apartment by myself. I was at least five months pregnant, but I don't know how far along I was because I had never seen a doctor. Stephen did not want me to go to a doctor and be asked who was the father of my baby and how had I become pregnant. So I had received no prenatal care. I was alone in the apartment. I had no money of my own. I had no car, no driver's license, and I had dropped out of school. There was a fire in our apartment and I woke up in a hospital fighting for my life from smoke inhalation. I recovered from the fire. But before I could leave the hospital, Stephen came to me and told me that I was going to have an abortion. He had lawyers at the hospital and he had a doctor there who was going to perform the abortion. I said, no, I wanted my baby. We argued for hours, but in the end, Stephen placed the choice between my baby and him. I could have the abortion or I could hit the street. You know, of the 55 million abortions in the United States since Roe versus Wade, over 60% are coerced. Sometimes we think coerced abortion happens only in places like China. But the truth is, coerced abortions happen everywhere abortion is legal. Some, to a woman who has had an abortion, I want you to know that there is recovery and healing to be had. After my abortion, I felt like part of me had died. And sometimes a woman might feel that she separated herself from God in a permanent way because of her abortion. My experience has taught me that God's grace is bigger than even our worst sin and that if we turn to God, He is there with open arms waiting to forgive us and teach us how to be guardians of life. Today, I am a wife. I have been married for 31 years. I have been given the grace yeah. of seven beautiful children who are